Okay, today we're going to look at how to take a document that you've created in college, maybe a Word document, something you've typed up, and that you've saved into the college computer system, and to put it into StudentNet so that you can pick it up from anywhere else. And the idea is that you are able to go into this personal documents area, find your files and open them at home or in the library or in any other location that you want to. And it doesn't matter if you have Microsoft Office installed or not because this uses the Microsoft Web Apps. So let's have a look at how this works. I've logged into StudentNet and I have gone to my content area, um, which is in your My Site. Remember, you find My Site by clicking on your name at the top right corner and choosing My Site. Okay. In the content area, remember you have your shared document folder and a personal document folder. You may have changed its name to Word Documents and you may have already created some extra libraries for PowerPoints and spreadsheets. If you haven't done that, then it's worth having a look at the video clip that shows you how to do that. Let's go and find a document that we have already saved. To do that, you're always putting things into your personal documents folder or into one of these extra ones that you've created. You shouldn't be putting anything into shared documents. Remember, any documents you add here will be visible to every other user on the StudentNet system. So add a document to your personal document area. It pops up and asks you to browse. That lets you look on this computer for that file that you have saved. So I'm just going to look uh, on my desktop. You're probably going to click into documents. I'm going to pick a file from my desktop. And I'm just going to pick a Word document called Sessions and open it and click OK to confirm this is the right document. And here it is, straight away appears inside my personal document folder. So you would log off, you would go away, take yourself home or to the library and think, OK, I'd like to work on this document again. You would get yourself back into StudentNet onto your My Site content area. You'd see this document and you'll notice as I float the mouse pointer over the name of the document, a little arrow appears to the right. OK, I'm going to click it and I'm going to choose Edit in Browser. I could choose Edit in Microsoft Word. If I was at home and I had Microsoft Office installed, that would be fine. But you don't need to. You can get full, almost full functionality by choosing Edit in Browser. And it just uses the internet. I'll give that a click. And you'll notice it's popped up with my document inside a Word web app with some basic functionality. Some of the menus are available, not all of them, but all the usual things you would expect. The formatting tools, cut, copy and paste, you've got your spell checker, um, and you have the facility to resave that document once you've made some changes, and it will save it straight back into your personal document area. Let's just do that. It's saved. I can choose close from the file drop-down. I've got my printer option as well. I close it, here we are, back in, there's my document, still there but it's been updated.